Welcome to Moment in Ministry, hosted by Pastor Steve Dameron. Hello again, this is Pastor Steve Dameron for Moment in Ministry, and today i got Pastor Jeff Ferguson. I'm going to have him introduce himself, and then we're going to have a unique Moment in Ministry. All right, so go ahead. All right, well, my name is Jeff Ferguson. I'm Pastor of Glory Baptist Church in Des Moines, Iowa, and uh, we've been in Des Moines eight years. We started the church five years ago, and... Um, just celebrated five years in October. So, all right. So, uh, what I thought would be interesting because Pastor Ferguson and I have have history. <laughs> that could be good or bad. We have history. So, what we're um, what I was thinking about doing is just maybe you could go a little bit into your childhood, yeah. and then we'll just move through kind of different stages of life. And see how yeah. God's grace was there, and yeah. I think that's a that's a great, I think, encouragement yeah. uh, to folks, yeah, and it, and it's showing how God works, and maybe it could touch somebody's heart and just show them that I think sometimes maybe in that stage you were thinking, you know what, this doesn't make sense at all, <laughs> all right? but now you look back and you see God's hand was in each yeah. stage. So what? Let's yeah. start with kind of how you grew up. All right. Well, um, I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, and um, and my mom. Um, I didn't grow up in a Christian home. Um, my earliest memory, um, whether being this being reaccounted to me mm -hmm. or, uh, but I have a very vivid memory of my first memory is three years old. My stepdad throwing me against a wall uh, because I was crying and uh, I wanted my mom. Mm -hmm. And um, and then so, um, not too long after that, I mean, uh, stepdad abused my mom, mm -hmm. abused me. And um, it wasn't too long, they got a divorce. And uh, then my mom and my dad got back together. They met, actually, ironically, at church. <laughs> Years later? Uh, no, no, well, as young people. As young people. As young wow. people, they were at church. Wow. And then I was born um, after they got out of the youth group, and my dad went to the military. Okay. And um, so my mom got married to her first husband while he was in the military. He comes back home. They then get married. And... Um, you know, it, that didn't last long. Uh, my mom and dad divorced uh, when I was seven. Yeah. And, um, you know, and it just was was terrible <laughs> just in the fact of um, it, it really didn't, um, I didn't have that home. Right. You know, mom and dad right. and normality. Yes. Um, and so then my, my mom married her third husband, Mike. And uh, with Mike, um, we, it was really one of those things that it's taken me a long time to be able to talk about this. Um, Mike would abuse uh, me. Uh, he, would, he would beat me. Uh, one time uh, I made my stepbrothers mad, my stepbrother-in-laws mad, and um, they told Mike, and Mike had them hold me down, and he beat me uh, with a stick. And um, that night... Uh, when my mom got home, I was laying on the floor and she ended up taking me to the hospital. And that's when we would be pulled from the house. Uh, we were going to the foster care for the first time. And um, we would be in foster care uh, three separate times over the next four years, the longest time, a year and a half. And, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things. Well, mom got us back, but didn't leave Mike. And Mike could no longer physically abuse us, so he physically defiled me. And, um, you know, it was just, it was just one of those things of, um, you, you don't talk about it because I'm going to hurt you if you do talk about it. And so, um, eventually the truth came out. We were taken from my mom the final time and my mom said, okay, finally got a divorce from him. Um, then married her fourth husband, <laughs> Eddie and, um, Eddie had his ways. I mean, it was just, uh, but my mom got into drugs, uh, partying. And, um, you know, it was really funny because right after my mom married Mike and divorced him, I was, I'd be around 10 years old, um, church people came and knocked on the door and um, invited my little brother Joshua to church. And we started riding the church bus. And, um, and so uh, I hated church. <laughs> I hated church. And you know the savages. And so uh, when I would get into church, I would sit behind John mm -hmm. and I'd thump his ears until he would turn around and stop it. 
and lose his quiet seat prize. Right. You know, right. and that just made you happy. Uh, it? it did. It brought right. me a great joy because I look back and Cecil Graves marking his name off. <laughs> And, um, you know, I did everything I possibly could to get kicked out of church. Uh, but Patch Savage just was more stubborn than I was. Yep. And so he he had the youth pastor start picking us up for Sunday night church wow. and Wednesday night church, wow. Saturday morning soul winning. I, I didn't even want to be there. Right. And here we are. Right. <laughs> here we are going. And you're here even more now. <laughs> yeah. Right. And, um, you know, I started to see after that that there's something different about them. There's a joy, there's love, there's, yep. there's a happiness. Yep. And, um, and so uh, coming into our teenage years, becoming part of the youth group, I just assumed that if I'm going to have that joy, then guess what? I got to be a preacher. <laughs> and so that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be, I'm going to be Pastor Savage and, mm-hmm. and, um, and just um, Pastor Savage had such a profound uh, impact yeah. on my life. Mm-hmm. And, um, so then we go off to Bible college and right. we meet Tracy and, right. um, you know, uh, 2004, we're married, 2007, I, I finally graduated. Right. <laughs> right. So, so then you head out. Yeah. Then we head to our first ministry in the suburbs of Philadelphia. Yeah. And uh, we were there two and a half years. Okay. And then uh, from there, we moved to Hunt Valley, Maryland. Okay. Um, we were there um, right at two years. All right. So and two and a half years in PA. Yes, sir. Two, uh, right at two years in yes, sir. Maryland. And yes, then sir. after that? And then after that, we moved to upstate New York. Yes. With Roger Betrell All right. and Maranatha. And so for you one year. One year there. Yes, sir. And then from there, you went to Des Moines? Then we went to Des Moines. Okay. Yes, sir. So that's what, okay, so now as you look back, I know you yes, and I have talked about this. Yeah. So you see kind of how you grew up. Yeah. And even some of the things um, that, you just were talking about right. you just over the last year or so have been dealing with, yes. right? Oh yeah. So Absolutely. as you have seen God move you, mm-hmm. right? Probably now you look back and say, All right, that's why he put me there. Mm-hmm. That's why he put me there. That's why he put me there. Yes. And and now I can deal with these things. Oh, because yes. it's Absolutely. that it's that growing process. Yes, sir. In every stage. Yeah. And that's what um that's what's been kind of interesting to see. Um, I'm kind of a stationary guy. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I've been here now like 30 <laughs> years and I'm like, well, man, all these guys are moving everywhere. And yeah. I'm just, um, I guess I'm like the, you know, like the, they put lead or something on me <laughs> and drop me. Right, you know what I mean? Right, exactly. But, but God has, God has reasons for moving. Yes. Yeah. And he also, I think that's also part of his, his grace. Mm-hmm. And some people, there's a lot of misunderstanding about grace, especially yeah. in this day oh, and age. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, but I, I kind of define grace as uh, God's, uh, God's enabling mm-hmm. uh, for, for you to do that which you can't. Yes. Right? So like I'm saved by grace. Amen. So what does that mean? Well, I can't save myself. Right. Well, I right. also can't. I can't function really too well in this life without grace. Absolutely. Right. And so, and I think probably through these moves, oh, yeah. God has shown you some area mm-hmm. of his grace. Right. Absolutely. Um, and some of it could be in marriage. It could be in family. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe that's kind of the, the first thing that I wanted to kind of deal with is just, yeah. so maybe what are some things that you've seen God's enabling uh, mm-hmm. through the years? Yeah, so, um, I, and I agree with you. I, I believe grace is God's divine enabling to accomplish a specific purpose mm-hmm. and task. Uh, we find many different graces in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Saving grace, standing grace, sanctifying yeah. grace, uh, you know. And so, um, so as, as I've journeyed, it's really funny. Um, we really hit a dilemma. We've been eight years in Des Moines. Mm-hmm. And that's the longest I've been in one location in my life. <laughs> like it is, it's it's really incredible. Um, and it just and so I like Tracy and I were just talking about this not too long ago. I was like, um, I kind of feel like we need to move. Yep. You know, um, like this this isn't normal right. for us. I mean, we we moved around a lot when I was a kid. Right. Um, trailer parks and uh, projects and different right. places. You know, and so I, I just thought that was part of our that's how our ministry is going to be. I really envied people that were in locations for long periods of time. 
But in our first men, well, let's go back to even college. Mm-hmm. Um, I finally, it, like, even in college, I, I'm not, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, I deserve to be behind a woodshed, you right. know. Right. And um, but um, I really, it, once I came to the understanding, God, I can't do this. Right. I need you. I'm going to put my hand to the plow and I'm going to do it the best I can, but I need you. Welcome to Moment in Ministry, hosted by Pastor Steve Dameron. 